My name is Grace and I'm here with Al and our penguin flock of 17 penguins. And you guys are joining us for breakfast today. Um, and it's a special day because it's International African Penguin Awareness Day. So we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how awesome our penguins are. Um, these guys are really cool. You can see them swimming around in their exhibit. Most of the time they're hanging out on the beaches catching some sun. What's really awesome about these guys is that instead of having lots of feathers and lots of fat down around their feet, like cold weather penguins, I like to say they're wearing penguin shorts because these guys are found in warmer climates. So if you can see their ankles, you know you're seeing a warm weather penguin. So these guys are found mostly around the coast of South Africa and surrounding islands. They can travel around quite a bit. They're really great swimmers. Um, when they're in the water, they can swim up to 12 miles an hour. Um, so that's pretty fast. Most humans can only swim up to six and that's like Olympic swimmers can swim that fast. So that's pretty impressive. Um, when these guys are swimming around in the wild, they're gonna be looking for all kinds of fish. So like I said, you guys are joining us for breakfast. They're getting um, herring and capelin. And the capelin is their favorite. The herring's a little big. So sometimes they don't want to eat the big ones. Um, they'll eat a variety of fish in the wild and they might even sometimes eat a jellyfish if they're feeling adventurous. So these guys, their favorite fish is capelin. Those are the little ones that Al is feeding. And sometimes you get a little bit of breakfast backsplash. And um, we do have several who are hanging out in their nest boxes right now. And we gave them a little extra ramp to come down. Everyone's saying, don't miss out on breakfast. So coming down the ramp right now is Rudo. All of our 17 penguins are very special to us. Um, and they're all extremely unique. As you guys come and visit and as we do more, I'm sure you'll be able to tell everybody apart, but I'll tell you about a couple of the individuals that we have with us today. Um, looking straight into the camera and following these shiny things around, <laughs> this is Rufaro. That's Rudo's brother. Um, he and Rudo are extremely social. They're usually the first ones down on the path in the morning. Um, and they are mischievous. They are probably the first two to get into trouble. This little one who's joining me right here, this is Pearl. Pearl is a very special penguin. Um, she used to be a program penguin at her old facility, um, which means that she would go to schools and do education programs and things like that. So she is very attached to the keeper. So she likes to get really close to us. As you can see, not many of the other penguins do that. Um, Pearl will end up in between our feet while we're hosing or while we're trying to leave the exhibit. So she is quite a character. Oh, and she's very fluffy right now because she's had plenty of fish to eat this morning. <laughs> so yes, all of our penguins are very special to us, but all penguins are special and African Penguin Awareness Day is a really great day to talk about it. Um, these guys are an endangered species, and one of the reasons why they were endangered in the first place is because people like to use bird poop as fertilizer. Um, and in order to fertilize their farmland, people were taking the poop from these African penguins in the wild. And since these guys don't build a typical nest, they usually nest either on a rocky beach Sometimes there isn't enough sand to dig out for a nest. Um, so they'll use their poop to kind of stick their nests together and keep their eggs from rolling away. So when we started taking away their poop, um, they weren't able to build nests that could hold their eggs and keep them from rolling off. So we saw a decrease in chicks hatching in the wild, but um, we as humans are <laughs> smart enough to know and we care enough that when we're making a mistake, 
sometimes we can change for the better. So um, it's actually illegal <laughs> to harvest their guano now. And there are several areas where their nesting sites are protected um, on the coast of South Africa. And since then, um, there's been a huge increase in chicks hatching in the wild. So that's such a great story to know that we truly can make an impact in the wild. Um, but the work's not done. These guys are still an endangered species. Um, and one of the ways that you can help right from home, you don't have to go to Africa to help these guys out, um, is by using reusable bags. So one of the things that we see polluting waterways really often are plastic bags and plastic in general. Um, these guys will eat a variety of fish in the wild and they might even sometimes eat a jellyfish. And a plastic bag floating in the water can look a lot like a jellyfish. So if you guys use a reusable bag, there's less of a chance of more plastic bags ending up in the waterway. You know, and if you guys are ever wondering where to start, if you want to do more to help, you can always come to the zoo. Um, every time you come to the zoo is an effort to help animals in the wild. And if you have questions about how to help penguins specifically, Al and I and the rest of our team are always excited to talk to you guys about penguins. So thank you guys for joining us for breakfast and happy International Penguin Awareness Day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>